I've, you know, I came on here a few weeks ago, you recorded that video and posted it. It got a lot of traction and a lot yeah. of feedback has come as a result of that. And so I'm kind of learning to talk about this maybe a little bit better. And what I love about Alex too, is sometimes he's explaining this stuff, this stuff to us. And I'm like, hold on, Alex, explain like we're five. And he'll be like, hold on, let me bring up Pack MB. And then he'll really break it down, like kind of line by line and show us because I think we all learn better when we see it. Uh, yeah. But this is a very good question because this stuff is confusing. And Alex, I think really teaches it better. Alex, you're such a good teacher because you make this really confusing stuff seem not so confusing. So thank you. So yeah, what do course. you what do you say? Tell us. <laughs> okay, we have a, a list of topics here. Uh, so let's let's kind of dive in. I think first and talk about like why effect exists, right? Like, if 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 the advice is don't use this thing, like why you know why is it there? Right. And I I think like don't use effects as a mantra is an oversimplification. Um, and you know, it, it's kind of like the, the catchy clickbait title for the the actual advice. Um, and sometimes I've also heard this expressed as like, you don't need effects, right? Like, which I think is more in line with the message we're actually trying to send, which is this should be maybe the last thing that you reach for to solve a problem, not necessarily the first thing that you try. It's not so much that you can't use it. It's just maybe the yeah. better way to say it is there's an easier way it, i don't yeah or, or, or a better way right like yeah. a, a way that has fewer um problems with it so a more efficient way yeah maybe exactly so so the way like i've i've you know i came on here a few weeks ago you recorded that video and posted it it got a lot of traction and a lot yeah. of feedback has come as a result of that and so i'm kind of learning to talk about this maybe a little bit better and i think um there's there's an attractiveness to the effect API because it does seem like a very obvious way to solve a lot of problems. It feels convenient. It feels yeah. like that's what it's there for. Like like Luis had said, yes. when something happens and you just respond to it with yeah. an effect. So yesterday, actually, Pablo and I were in the um, in the office and had uh, Ryan Carnado from Solid come and visit us and come to lunch, and we spent a few Love hours. Love that guy. Yeah. He's so cool. He's awesome. He's he's yeah. amazing to talk to, and he was talking to us about some of the stuff he's doing with Solid Two that's coming up. That you know, I won't spoil for him. Um, We're gonna have to go get him and bring yeah. it back to talk about it. But one of our Brian, our if topic, you see this, you have to come and visit us again. We want to hear. But he did promise that he was gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, but he said he wasn't ready, so maybe he was, he's he was ready wearing now. a I'll, great I'll like Got Signal shirt, um, which is <laughs> really cool. But uh, one of the topics that we were we were kind of discussing is this exact problem of you know, signals requires you to switch your brain a little bit in how you think about problems. And until you do that, you kind of get yourself into these situations and effect looks like the escape hatch that you want. And so the, the way, the way I kind of think about it is like, we talked last time about the options and um, selected item, right? The, I've started using a, a different analogy there, which is like, you have, you know, an input coming to you, someone says, here's a menu, let the user pick the order that they want. You can always and hack MDS if you need to. Yeah, we you can always that. can. <laughs> um, let's do it. Yeah. Don't forget to drop a link for us, please. Woohoo. This is my favorite part, Alex. Thank you. I speak for all of, course, of us yeah. when I say we love your HackMDs. It's such a nice tool too. Mm -hmm. um, so like we're writing a component like that's like, you know, restaurant menu. Um, and we want an input that's like, you know, all of the dishes that we can present to the user. And our goal is to let the user select one of these things, right? And so the the kind of if you are operating in this like mode of, of kind of not really thinking with signals, thinking reactively, the natural thing you do is say like, oh, we have, you know, our, our like choice is a piece of state that I need to keep track of. And I use signals for state. Um, so I'm going to choose a dish and we'll maybe initialize this to 
the first thing on the menu, let's say. So we show a drop down to the user or at a list, you know, kind of the first one is the default choice and then they can change it over time.